Hi, welcome to my desk. First of all, I should say that I split my desk into three distinct zones. The first being my hanging inspiration board, the second being my main workspace, and the third being my stationary storage zone. Before I go into more detail, my hanging grid rack is from Daiso, my white table is from IKEA, and all my stationary storage items are also from Daiso. Okay, let's start the tour. Let's start with my hanging inspiration board. This part of my desk merely serves to showcase different prints, knickknacks, and mail that inspires me in some sort of way. I like to change the items that I post on the hanging grid every month, but for the most part there are always postcards, notes, photo booth and Polaroid photos, cards, and prints with cool designs on the grid. As a self-confessed clip hoarder, I like to use different types of clips to hold everything up on the grid, and I keep a few extra clips on the bottom right corner of the rack to use when I'm journaling. At the bottom of the grid, I also have this accessory that allows me to hang my various scissors which are a mainstay in most of my Instagram photos. But that is enough for zone 1, let's move on to zone 2. Zone 2 is basically just the right side of my desk and it is the part of my desk that I do most of my work. I like to keep that area empty and I only keep the easel on the far right corner of the desk to keep any paintings or prints that I've made as well as any books or magazines that I'm currently reading. Right now I have an old copy of Kinfolk on the easel as well as 5 old editions of The Traveler's Times. I also keep the Traveler's Notebooks that I'm using, the book that I'm currently reading, as well as the camera that I'm currently shooting with pushed up against the side of my stationary storage units. I like to keep those items there so when I leave for the day I know which items to bring and to put in my bag. When I'm not using my laptop, I like to keep it on my desk to activate my clock screensaver because I don't actually have any clocks in my studio apartment and it's been that way for almost two years now. I guess I'm just really lazy to buy one but that's pretty much it for zone 2. Let's move on to zone 3 which is probably the most exciting part of this tour because you'll basically get to see my full stationery collection too. Zone 3 is honestly just my sad attempt at trying to organize my stationery collection. Although I like to think that my washi tapes are fairly organized, my other supplies are basically just put into random containers without any proper system. But let's start off with the clear acetate boxes and all the items on top of them. On top of the two acetate storage boxes, I have a calendar that Songjun made for the Time Stationery Shop, and then I have my tin case filled with ephemera pieces, and then I have this grid tape from Class Key, and underneath that I have this inexpensive wooden stamp set with a serif font that I randomly purchased from this store that I stumbled upon in my town, and lastly I have this other wooden stamp set that I purchased at Art Box, which was insanely overpriced. I'm not going to go into too much detail about all the contents of the acetate drawers, but basically, the first drawer holds my Tim Holtz distress sprays and a whole bunch of leftover supplies. The next drawer holds my J. Herbon mini ink bottles and ink cartridges, and I also have that mini bear stamp set that I have yet to use in that drawer as well. In the next drawer, I keep my stamp inks, my metal letterpress stamps, and all my sealing waxes, as well as a lighter. In the last drawer, I keep my airmail themed stamps from Cavallini Paper Company, as well as a few stamps from Classic -y. Next up, I have my two pen containers that keep all my pencils, markers, pens, and brushes that I don't bring with me in my pencil case. In the first container, I keep my Tombow brush pens and my Copic markers. I own a lot of pastel colored Copics, and my Tombow markers lean more onto the earthier color spectrum. My second container holds all my paintbrushes, fine lining pens, aquash water pens, and other calligraphy pens and accessories. I also have a smaller pair of scissors stored in that container as well. In between my wooden storage boxes and my pen containers, I have this little space where I've decided to jam all these random pieces of stationery that don't fit into any other storage options. So I have my Recollections Clear stamp set, the sticker set, a few notebooks, specifically this Field Notes notebook, this Tools to Live By notebook, and this post-it set that allows you to review books or movies. And lastly, my favorite storage option, my Midori B6 window envelope notebook, which is such a mouthful to say, but it's an amazing product. Go check it out, go Google it. I highly suggest it if you need a little storage option for any of your ephemera or postage stamps. 
next up we have this wooden storage box that is the equivalent of a junk drawer on my desk it just holds all of these random bits and bobs that are all useful but don't have their specific place in my i guess collection so i just keep them all here so first off we have an ink pad then we have a roller date stamp we have my Windsor and Newton Cotman student grade watercolor travel set. Ooh, that's a mouthful. Some classic -y onion skin paper, some label stickers in various sizes, some cards and other mail that I received from friends from back home and from different parts of the world, vintage postcards that I purchased in Vancouver, which I have yet to use, some washi tape samples from pen pals, some of these vintage library cards, some more mail. This beautiful letter that I got from my friend Andrea, some Midori planner stickers, some random packaging from older Midori products, some dried flowers, this cool panda print note card set from Japan that my friend Michelle got for me a while ago, a photograph that I took at a community garden back home in Vancouver, and then this little card that came with my Korean name stamp. Woo, that was like a wrap. I'm so tired. But there's more. There are more stamps on to the right side of the s not a square storage box. Uh, those are oh shoot, I jinxed it, everyone. Those are Japanese stamps. That's a sumo wrestler stamp, and those are my Midori top handle stamps. They look like faux immigration stamps, which are super cool, and I use them in a lot of my spreads. And lastly, we have this wax seal stamp. I think I did pretty good considering that I didn't have a script for this. Inside that box, I have these two tiny containers, and the first container is actually the tin case that came with my Koeko fountain pen. Inside that tin, I keep my extra notebook charms, my calligraphy nibs, my notebook elastic which can actually hold a few pens, and lastly my favorite bookmark that I purchased from Mitz's Etsy store. It's such a beautiful bookmark and I'll leave a link in the description bar below. In the craft paper container, I keep my wide collection of post-its which often make appearances in my journal with me videos. We're almost done here, I've actually saved the best for last. Here is my full washi tape collection. I actually used to have way more but I downsized my collection recently and I'm trying to implement a one in one out rule to keep my washi tape collection at a constant number. I honestly have enough to last a lifetime but I think washi tapes are my biggest weakness when it comes to stationery. Unfortunately, I don't think we'll have enough time to talk about each individual tape so maybe I can save that for another video. I hope you enjoyed this little desk tour and stationary collection video. I actually wanted to film this a long time ago, but I thought now was the perfect time to film it since I'll actually be moving out of this apartment and moving back to Vancouver in a few months. It's crazy how much my collection has grown in the past two years, and it's crazy to think how much I've grown as a person, as a crafter, as a journaler in those two years too. But I'm getting a little too mushy. I think I better sign off now, so thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and maybe share this video with another stationary addict you know. I'll see you all next week. Bye!